In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a pick list in Salesforce. I go over how to create the field, how to set up the field options, and how to move it around on the page. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. In this video, like I just mentioned, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a drop-down menu or otherwise known as a pick list inside of Salesforce. Now this can be done for any area of your Salesforce system, including leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities. However, in this example video, I'm gonna be creating a drop-down menu for my opportunities. So if I head over to opportunities, I'm just gonna to go to an example opportunity I created earlier. And as you can see, we've got CRM crew, now, as an example, just for this video, and bear in mind that uh, a drop-down menu can be created for any reason, I'm gonna be creating a drop-down menu to track which CRM system a client is interested in us developing. So just for clarity, we develop bespoke CRM systems for businesses all around the world. And when people get in touch with us, we want to be able to track which CRM system they need help with. And the best place to do that would be on the opportunities area because then we can manage the opportunity and what we are helping them with and we can track that sort of data. So I'm gonna create a drop down menu that gives me a list of all of the different CRM systems we help businesses with just so I can track that information throughout the opportunity stages. So as you can see, I'm on opportunities. This can be done from anywhere inside of the system. We need to go to the cog in the top right hand corner and then we need to go to the setup page. Okay, so then just press setup and you'll be presented with this screen here. So then we wanna to go to the left-hand side under platform tools. We would like to go to objects and fields and just go to object manager. Now, just for clarity, each area of the system, leads, accounts, contacts, and opportunities, they are known as different objects, okay? So either go through and scroll to the object that you would like to add a pick list or drop down menu to, or you can search in the top right-hand corner. So I'm just gonna search op opportunity and as you can see the opportunity object has appeared now we then need to go to fields and relationships and then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and press the new button now you're you're then going to be presented with this screen here what we need to do is go ahead and press a click here to open this page in salesforce classic the reason being is the back end of salesforce has not caught up the front end so we do all the development in the salesforce classic environment so just go ahead and press this link here it's not a problem at all now you can see we have a list of every single field that we can create inside of Salesforce, but the one we want is of course the pick list, okay, which is the single select drop down menu. This is not the multi select, although it is very similar. The difference being is a multi select is you can select multiple options, whereas a pick list, a standard pick list, you can only select one option. So there's, a, there's an argument to say that you might prefer to use a multi select as opposed to the single select. It's entirely up to you. So I've selected the pick list option that I'd like to use. Just go to the bottom right hand corner and press the next button. Okay. And now we need to give our, um, our field, our pick list a name. So I'm just going to call this CRM system. Very, very simple. Once you've given your field a name, we then need to select the values. Now, you can choose to use global pick list value set. Now, this is a predefined value set you already have inside of your Salesforce system, and you'll have a list of all the options here. As you can clearly see, I do not have a predefined pick list value, so that's not a problem at all. What we need to do is just press enter values with each value separated by a new line, okay? So this is literally where we create our list. So I'm gonna write in all of the different CRM systems we help businesses with. So Salesforce, uh, HubSpot, uh, Monday.com, uh, Zoho CRM, just, just off the top of my head, and then Dynamics 365 as well. There we go. So I've got my list of options. So as it states, every option is separated by a new line. Cool. So I've just added my options here. And of course, you can add whatever options you would like to add. Now, moving on from here, we've got display values alphabetically, not in the order entered. So if you select that, then it will display the options that you write out in this list alphabetically which I'm gonna do. And then we've also got the choice to use first value as default value. So a default or predefined value. So every time you create a new record, this will be the default value. I do not wanna select this option as I do not want a default value. However, you may want that. And then finally, we can restrict pick list to the values defined in the value set. And I'm gonna leave that as ticked. You do not want people adding additional values, okay? 
Field name is automatically defined when you enter in the field label. And then we've just got a description, so you can write in the description of what this particular field does. And we've got help text as well. We've also got a required option, so always require a value in this field in order to save a record. So you can tick or untick this. That means that the data has to be entered in in order to proceed, in order to save this particular record. I'm going to leave that unticked for the time being. And then we also have the option to add this field to existing custom report types that contain this entity. I would have this ticked. Now we've also got a formula column. I'm gonna completely ignore this. That is a little bit complicated for this short video. Um, but once you're happy, go ahead and press the next button in the bottom right hand corner. And you've pretty much almost set up your new pick list or drop down menu. Now you will be presented with some field level security options. So this allows us to give access uh, or take away access to this particular field the, the, dependent on the uh, the profile of the user. So if we said a standard user can only read that particular uh, field so they cannot make any changes to it or we could just hide it from them so they literally can't see it at all. Um, it's entirely up to you what is most suitable. You can change for each of the different profiles inside of your Salesforce system. Now, once you're happy, just press the next button again and select the uh, layouts that you would like this particular field to be added to. So I've only got one layout and of course I want this to be at this field to be added to the opportunity layout. So I'm going to make sure that remains ticked and then go ahead and just press the save button. Congratulations, you've now created your new field. You've got your CRM system or whatever you are tracking with your drop down menu. So if we now head back to the main Salesforce page, press the refresh button on your opportunities area. And we hopefully will see, as you can see here, the CRM system uh, drop down menu has been added. If we press the pencil button, we will see a list of all of the options that we added. And this has done, been done in alf alphabetical order as you can see. Now, before I end this video, I want to show you one additional thing. I'm going to show you how to move this particular field from one area of this page to another area. You may not be happy with the layout. So let's go back to the opportunity fields uh, tab at the top right hand corner that we were just on. What we then want to do is go to the customize button just under build. We would then want to go to opportunities and then we want to go to page layout. So this is literally where we just edit the page layout. So we've only got one page layout. As I mentioned earlier, we've got the opportunity layout. Just go ahead and press the edit button. And as you can see, we've got all of the fields on the opportunities page. Now you can see here we've got CRM system, the field that we just added. All you need to do is drag it and move it around and drop it wherever you'd like to position that particular field on this layout. Once you're happy with the changes, just scroll up to the top and press the save button. And congratulations, not only have you now created a pick list slash drop down menu, you've also repositioned it on that particular page. So if we now head back to the CRM crew opportunity and press the refresh button, and then scroll down, we will hopefully see that it has now moved from this particular area of the page to the additional information. And again, we've got all of the information that we can track. So let's just put Salesforce for this example and press the save button. Hopefully this video was of value and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you can now create a pick list inside of Salesforce. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, please drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.